Welcome back to Seahawk Central Sports. I'm Tess Bargeber. And I'm Kristen Dre. Men's basketball fought hard but fell just short in their 93-85 loss to Duke in the NCAA tournament. Tess and I were at the scene in Trask Coliseum as the two teams battled it out. For the first time in 10 years, UNCW has made it to the NCAA tournament. And while they may be in Providence, Rhode Island to take on Duke, fan excitement is happening right here in Trask Coliseum with a home court advantage. That often the UNCW community gets this excited. Thousands of fans of the Wilmington community roaring at the sight of 13th ranked UNCW leading 4th ranked Duke in the first half. And it's just so cool to see the Seahawks being supported this way. But the entertainment didn't stop there. During halftime, performances by UNCW's dance crew, physical graffiti, a student knockout tournament, and t-shirt toss kept the Seahawks fans on the hype. Everyone's coming together over this. It's a really big movement. I mean, it's definitely important. It's bringing the town together, community together. People are excited about their school. Up until the last second, fans supported their team. In the end, Seahawks fell short to the Blue Devils, 93-85. But it really wasn't the score that kept the crowd cheering. They were just proud of the way the Seahawks played against the defending champs. Reporting in Trask Coliseum, I'm Kristen Dre, Seahawks Central Sports. UNCW posted a season high for runs scored in a 19-7 win over Iona on Sunday at Brooks Field. Brian Mims, Gavin Stupinski, and Nick Fate combined for eight hits and 12 runs batted in to fuel the win. Robbie Thorburn added two hits and scored three runs while raising his stolen base total to nine with a pair of steals. Leading Iona with the plate was Travis Mistretta, who went three for four with a grand slam and five RBIs. The Seahawks looks next to take on Elon this weekend. The first pitch is set for 2 p.m. both days. UNCW softball swept Columbia in a three-game series over St. Patrick's Day weekend. Junior pitcher Peyton Jordan allowed just five hits over 12 innings of pitching to lead the Seahawks. After earning two wins in the series, she has improved her season record to 10-2. In the finale, Rachel Willis hit a sacrifice fly to drive in Aaron Brown from third base for their game-winning run in the 15th inning. The Seahawks look to build off their exciting victory when they host James Madison this weekend at Bozeman Field. UNCW's beach volleyball fell short to Pepperdine and Georgia State to close out their appearance at the College of Charleston on Sunday. The Seahawks were swept 5-0 in both matches, dipping 3-8 on the season. Four of UNCW's losses have come to nationally ranked opponents. The Seahawks visit Atlanta, Georgia next weekend and will compete in the GSU Grand Slam, hosted by Georgia State. UNCW will play Lincoln Memorial and Louisiana Monroe on March 25th, then Eckerd and nationally ranked Georgia State on March 26th. The number 57 nationally ranked men's tennis team defeated Yale 4-1 this past weekend. They snapped their three-game losing streak and improved their record to 7-6 on the season. After taking the doubles point, UNCW clinched the match with three straight victories in singles play. Head coach May Dubois was pleased with the team's performance and hopes it carries into their next match against Drexel on March 25th. Women's golf open play at the LSU Tiger Classic, finishing in ninth place after the opening round at the University Club on Sunday afternoon. The Seahawks finished with a 22 over par score of 310 in the opening round to post a ninth place effort among the field's 17 teams. Coach Cindy Ho said conditions made the play tough, but she was proud of her team's performance. Kayla Thompson is tied for second place following the opening round after posting five birdies, including a pair of back-to-back -back birdies. That's all for this week's edition of Seahawks Central Sports. Thanks for tuning in. As always, I'm Tess Bargerer. And I'm Kristen Dre. Have a great week, UNCW. And remember, continue soaring high, Seahawks.